Welcome back to Coffee Talk. We've got a special group of guys in here. They do fundraisers, and one of them they're doing this year is what? What are y'all doing this year? Go ahead and tell them, JD. The golf cart UTV ATV poker run on yes. October 5th, our third annual poker run. And it's for the, to benefit the Riverfront Development Committee uh, that does all the work on the riverfront down here. Right. right. Now, there's a, a misconception about what you all actually do and how things are being funded. Tell me who funds and how y'all managed to get the money to do the sidewalks downtown on the waterfront. That's a great question. Actually, it's our citizens here in Jefferson County and Madison and also folks that don't live here any longer that obviously either grew up here or have a fondness for Madison, but all this money is privately raised through this type of fundraiser and oh then of gosh. course used for development down on the riverfront. And how much sidewalk have y'all been able to put in now with all the funding that you've gotten from the poker run. Well, we're we're just finishing up about a mile and a half of river walk. Oh. Uh, we're, we're going from the paddle wheel on the east end down by the river boat inn, right. uh, going to the campground. And so that's going to finalize the south side of Vaughn Drive. That does not mean we're done. Right. That just means the sidewalk will be complete on the south Correct. side of, the, of Vaughn Drive. So uh, we have many more uh, ideas projects. in mind and projects in mind. So. Uh, uh, to touch a little bit on what JD said here a minute ago, we have had a couple people uh, bequeath us in their will some money also. So that's an option wow. that if you are doing your estate planning, you might think about the Riverfront Development Committee uh, in your estate planning also. I think we have uh, three uh, community foundation um, uh, funds set up now, one that's that we have funded and two that uh, pe people from the general public have funded. So right. that's basically how we're funded. But we get no tax dollars. It's all money raised um, by our fundraisers. Uh, and folks that donate to us uh, with the purchase of bricks, columns. We have plenty of columns for sale if anybody wants to buy a column. <laughs> uh, so we have lots of columns for sale. Uh, we're uh, finishing up with the benches and then we have a few limestone benches. Correct. So look for those. That's going to be a new thing on the riverfront this year is the limestone benches. So, um, And we want to give a shout out to John Bruns. He's taking care of Absolutely. the uh, contractors and he's worked closely with the contractors in the city. Uh, to finish up this section of the uh, sidewalk down by the city campground. So we're oh, excited. That's awesome. about probably halfway done, I would say. Uh, yeah. They've got the curbs and gutters in. They're putting the gravel in, so they're getting ready to, to uh, put the bricks down. So oh, if wow. you want a brick in the riverfront uh, and you want it in a certain place, we have a numbering system in place. So you right. can say, we want a brick in that section. And maybe right. you know you have some affinity for that for that uh, area of the riverfront. So, um, yeah. So we're always looking for donations. Awesome. And awesome. We, we would be remiss if we didn't mention Super AT who's our title sponsor yes. for this event. Uh, Harold Hunt and his wife and all of their employees there. Chuck Kensler, who's been a tremendous help, you know, setting that relationship right. up. Uh, again, we would not have this event without our title sponsor. Oh, yeah, you have to have those. They, Absolutely. they make things happen. So now with the poker run, I do a poker run and I'm on a motorcycle. What is the difference in your poker run and the one I'm thinking about? Very similar, actually. We uh, just go slower. Yep. <laughs> 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 so, so what can be in the in this poker run? What vehicles can be in the poker run? UTV, ATV, or of course golf carts. So it's a combination of both. And then during this poker run, you're going to have stops. Now, where are those stops going to be? We have seven stops this year. We've yes. uh, actually grown from five stops to seven. So you've got the Tap Room, Broadway, Shipley's, the Lighthouse, Key West Shrimp House, uh, Riverboat Inn, and our good friends. I'm missing one. I don't know. You're in charge. <laughs> you got them all. Oh, Mad Paddle. Mad, Mad Paddle. Paddle. Mad right. Paddle. Right. Sorry, Mad Paddle. Yeah. Uh, and so to bring up Mad yes, Paddle. Yes, Mad. Yes, tell, absolutely. Mad after Paddle's that. our newest addition. Obviously, our newest uh, one of our uh, our newest uh, yes. breweries in town. Yes. But uh, they have also uh, going to sponsor the after party. So we're going to have an after party starting at six o'clock down at uh, their facility. Oh wow! So there's going to be somebody coming in to cater food. Obviously. No, no, not on this. What not the, on the, this. Yeah, the, the, um, the, the stops, there'll be food at each of the stops. Yes. Um, Benny and Sarah's Sarah. Smoke and Barbecue, though, will be furnishing lunch, uh, yes. purchase lunch before everyone heads out at 12 o'clock. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So, yeah. yeah. So the, to kind of give you a rundown, we've been jumping all over the place here. Right. You can, you can be at the parking lot. Uh, between Central and Poplar yes. on the north side of On Drive, uh, anytime between 10 and noon. Just set up, look around, look at other people's golf carts, UTVs, whatever you want to do. At noon, 
you can go to any of the seven stops in any order you want to. Right. So you go to seven stops. It's $25 a hand. Play as many hands as you want to. You go to the stops. They'll draw a card for you. They'll mark your card uh, or cards. Hopefully you, you get plenty of cards. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, and um, then be back, be back at the uh, gazebo or, or the um, uh, cross from the parking lot there. We'll have a big red and white tent. Right. right. Can't miss it. Be back there at 4 o'clock. We'll do the drawing. Uh, $1,000 first prize. $300 second prize, $100 third prize. And then we're also going to have a uh, raffle that yep. we're just getting ready to start. And we're uh, in conversations right now. We don't know. We've given away, we've raffled off a golf cart the first year, a right. UTV the second year. So it's going to be one of those two one items, two either items. a golf cart or a UTV. Yes. And the ticket price, JD? One for 25 three for 50 or seven for 100. It was interesting last year to see this new structure pricing. The landing spot was $100. I mean, it, people walked up, I mean, just one after another spending $100 they for the seven, seven tickets. tickets. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, they know what it's going for. And the money for. goes for a great cause. It's yes. going for a great cause. It, you know, I mean, it's... It, only one person's going to win, but everyone walks right. away feeling good that they actually participated right. in our newest uh, uh, sidewalk extension. Right. And by the way, that's a culmination of a 33-year project that's been going on since 1986. So yes. Exciting. It is exciting. I, I think it's really neat because a lot of times government officials can't bring the money in or, you know, there's no place in the government entities to find funding for that kind of thing. So to do your poker run and then be able to beautify the city, mm -hmm. that's a big thing. We were very lucky. That's we really had a, a, a set of individuals back in 1986 that decided, hey, we're going to take this uh, idea and we're going to run with it and we're right. going to fund it ourselves and we were a private 5013C, which means that we have 100% authority of how we spend our money, yes. but we think that we do a good job spending it for right. what the citizens of Madison and Jefferson County want. And it also makes it possible to apply for grants or Correct. matching grants and right. it makes it easier to Correct. actually do what you're doing. Right. Correct. Well, and our motto is brick by brick, brick and block by block brick by brick and block by block. So uh, we've done it slowly, gradually over the years uh, with the help of a lot of people and, yes, and, right. and really set up um, by all, like JD said, all the, all the folks that were there before us. Um, uh, I, my funny story in this is that I talked to um, um, Forey Douglas. He was on the committee. I helped him with some bricks for a while. Right. And I said, Forey, I wouldn't mind being on this committee. And he said, I'll keep you in mind. And I got a phone call nine years later. He said, we voted you in last night, Jim. And I said, to what? He said, the Riverfront Development Committee. So I've been involved ever since that phone call. So it's, uh, I've been on the committee, I don't know, 12, 15 years and enjoy it. And it's, you're very active in it. Yes, yes. You, you, yep. It's your passion, you yep, can tell. Yep, yep. So. And we're, we're river rats. We like the river. Yep, so right. uh, we're by no means uh, anywhere close to being done. Um, one of the next projects I think that we're talking about is maybe a master plan to really to really be good Connect stewards of the of the riverfront and the, and the donut donors money yeah, have to uh, maintain it. yeah and and so the the we we raise the money we do the projects and then we donate the project to the city for right. their maintenance so there's um, there's there's been a maintenance fund hopefully established so we're right. working working toward that so it's not such a burden you know the more we put in the more burden it is right. on the city to maintain it right. and we want to make sure that, that that's taken care of we just don't want to build it and then neglect it so uh, we're working toward that, but awesome. um, it's um, it, it's a it's a really fun really fun project to work on. It sounds like it. And you know the river. Uh, if we didn't have the river here, we could just be any town in the Midwest. That's but true. the river is what what makes Madison, Indiana, different. I, 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 I always say and we all have a passion for it. Right. You can't buy it, build it, or recreate no. it. It's ours. It's our treasure. Right. Why not enhance it? Exactly. And now this event is actually October the fifth, right? That's correct. Saturday, and it's always going to be the first Saturday in October. In October. So mark your calendars for next year, next year, next year. So now, if uh, they want to buy their entry fee or pay for their entry fee ahead of time, can they do that? We actually don't do any thing ahead of time because you we have to have a gaming's of. license so you yes. cannot do any of the entry fees or buy the right. actual poker hands but you can buy the raffle tickets and we sell those in advance of so course. those are in advance those are starting next week and then you sign up the day of on october the 5th that is correct between yep. 10 and noon that mm -hmm. is correct awesome correct. Yes. well and if you're there at one o'clock you still have time to make seven <laughs> stops so <laughs> we had a few late <laughs> just, just last because year. you know it's like 12 15 doesn't <laughs> yeah. mean you can't come on down if you so overslept down. you get to come on, come yep. anyway that's right so, that's awesome well great and then if they want to donate money at a different time other than the poker mm -hmm. run. How can they Absolutely. donate money? Is there a website or a mm -hmm. place they can go to do that? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. MadisonRiverfront.com, um, I'm thinking. It, it, it's anyway. Just Google Madison Riverfront Development Committee. I think it's MadisonRiverfront.com. Yes. Um, we have... Uh, or contact either one of us. Yeah, either yes. one of us. Uh, Jim Pruitt or J.D. Or J.D. Webster. Mm -hmm. um, Lou Ann at City Hall yep. right now in the Planning Commission office. 
Uh, we have forms in there for donations. You can buy bricks, columns, uh, light posts, uh, bollards, whatever you want to donate yeah. to, or if you just want to make an anonymous donation, we're, we're right. up for that also. Yeah, you know, Lou Ann at the City Hall, she's really helpful with this stuff because you, you're going to have to fill out a form with her to get your brick anyway. So if you have a question, you can contact her. If you see these guys out, <laughs> hand them a little bit of money for the <laughs> We'll be happy project, to take it. We so. appreciate it. Yeah. Well, is there anything else we need to tell them about this event? The only thing I can think of, I again just want to uh, mention uh, one additional time to Super ATV. Yes. Uh, we couldn't do this event without yeah. Super ATV. Right. And we could not have this event without the participants and all of our residents of Madison and Jefferson County. It's a fun event. Come visit. Come yeah. have fun on Saturday, June 5th. You won't be disappointed. It's a fun fundraiser. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to put it. It's yep. a fun fundraiser. Yep. Well, we're really glad you all were here today. Thanks for Thank, coming Thanks in. for having us. Thanks for the invite. Oh, you're we welcome. Appreciate it. We appreciate you're it. welcome. Now, you guys are going to have to remember, October the 5th, make sure you get there between 10 and noon, or if you're a little late, you can come around 1 and make it to all the stops. And that's how you do your entry fee. And if you want to donate money or buy raffle tickets ahead of time, check out these two guys, or you can go talk to Lou Ann at City Hall. So we greatly appreciate our sponsors, and as always, we thank you for watching.